Hi guys, it's Nick, and I'm going to do a blog on Mr. Anderson, aka Mr. Kennedy. Yeah, Mr. Anderson, or Mr. Kennedy as you like to call him, he's one of my favourite wrestlers. Uh, he's very uh, funny, athletic, and uh, charismatic individual uh, who rightfully should have been world champion in WWE. Hated how they used him towards the end of his time there, uh, but his push when they he, he came in was phenomenal. You know they made him the U.S. champion by beating Bobby Lashley. That was step number one. And back in 2006, they did an angle where he feuded with numerous world champions, and you know defeated lots of world champions. Then. Must have been a matter of time then before a push came his way, and it did in 2007 at WrestleMania 23, where he won the Money in the Bank ladder match to earn a future World Championship match whenever he saw fit. The next night on Raw, Edge challenged him for his his Money in the Bank spot, and they had a match, and... Mr. Anderson, aka Mr. Kennedy, lost his money in the bank spot. And from there on out, yeah, he still went for ECW. He had an ECW push as well. He went against uh, Bobby Lashley, the world champion, and had uh, some matches there with Lashley over the ECW title. Uh, wasn't successful though in winning it, unfortunately. And uh, shortly after that, he was kicked to the curb and uh, wasn't used properly. And then he had a shoulder injury or something like that and had time off. And the thing that annoyed me is the, f the night he returned turned out to be his last in the WWE because after that episode of Raw they released him and kind of glad they did really because uh, he ended up going to TNA and uh, got pushed to the moon basically because back at Genesis uh, in a shocking turn of events uh, he defeated Jeff Hardy and became the TNA World Champion. Thumbs up to you TNA for doing that by the way. Because you know how to push your talent. Unlike a certain Mr. Kenner, Vince Kennedy McMahon who uh, you know, don't so much care about his stars. And you know, he don't know how to use them properly like... TNA does, you know, they do a great job and push their talent literally for the big ones, big world, the we the world championship, you know. Uh, also, want to talk to you a bit about the uh, Bobby Roode being world champion. Uh, yeah, Bobby Roode's another one of my favourites. I uh, think they did a brilliant job when they. Finally gave him the title last November, beating his long-time friend James Storm. That was an epic match, by the way. Uh, yeah, Bobby Roode recently broken a record, beating AJ Styles' record as uh, the longest reigning world champion ever. And personally, I hope they keep the title on Roode, because... He's, he has literally earned his spot in TNA to be the best, so and they should keep they should keep him on a roll and just keep keep him as their world champion because he is awesome, like Bobby Roode. Uh, another thing I want to talk to you a bit about as well: uh, Crimson. Yeah, Crimson needs a uh, needs. Some kind of title push, because uh, he has been on a, a roll ever since he came in CNA. Uh, 
Uh, he had an undefeated record, you know, uh, which he said on impacts was the longest undefeated streak and longer than that Goldberg guy, or worse to that effect, is what Crimson said. Yeah, I think he should have like maybe a a TV title match, maybe against uh, Devon or something, because you know he could do he could do with a title push. Crimson needs it. He's been tag team champion, but I think he needs a singles role. He needs a singles title, like like the TV title or something, because you know, as I say, he has literally proved himself in singles competition. Yeah. Hope you enjoy my review, guys, by the way. Bye.